Welcome to my uh, long overdue one subscriber special. Uh, this is uh, almost 12, 13 years in the making. Uh, our last video was uploaded, a uh, very successful video, uh, running around and uh, getting Coke in a cup. So I thought, uh, you know, we give this uh, one subscriber special. Uh, all right, so uh, today what we're gonna do is uh, Arthur tier list. I've been seeing a lot of tier lists and uh, I'm making my own because uh, Arthur is the OG coolest show. So just to kind of give it the rankings, uh, we got up top here is the OG, the original gangster. Over here goes the coolest, coolest, most swaggiest character ever. Uh, second option is the lovely. If you're lovely, then you're cool. Uh, meh is just like we don't care about them. They're not cool. They're not bad. They're just like whatever. Uh, and then barely bearable is the characters that are that really suck, but they're not the worst. Um, a good example would be the Tibble Twins because they suck, but they're, they can sometimes be cool, I think. Uh, and then over here, Muffy. Uh, she sucks so much that she gets her own category. Um, yeah, cause she's 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 uh vomitious, okay. Only only real ones would know what that means. All right, let's get started, okay. So uh, first character here is uh, a uh, Catherine. Um, all I know about Catherine is that uh she had teen magazines. Uh, so that makes her Tatiana. Uh, what we're gonna do uh take her uh and then put her in the Muffy category, cause she sucks. Uh, and then next we got Arthur's grandma. Uh, Grandma, she's such a sweet old lady. She all she wants to do is make Arthur cake. Uh, we're gonna give her lovely. She's cool. Uh, we got the brain. Uh, he's a know-it-all. He one time he turned into a bug because he was so annoying. Um, yeah, brain brain sucks. He's barely bearable. Uh, then next we got uh the mean teacher in the world, Mr. Rapper. Uh, he had the audacity to stay at Arthur's house one day because uh, he was too broke to get his own house. Um, Mr. Rapper, uh, he sometimes is cool. He did teach us a lot of lessons, so I'm gonna go put him in meh. And then, um, this is the guy who ruined all our childhoods. We'll throw him right in there. And then, uh, no, many of y'all might not know this kid. Uh, I had to Google him because I forgot. But this kid, uh, he's, uh, his name is Adil. He's Arthur's pen pal. Uh, this guy's an OG, dude. This guy's an OG. Throw him in there. Um, over here, we got Alberto. Uh, um, all I remember from this kid is he had the coolest stairs ever. Um, so automatically an OG. Uh, over here, some random nerd, I don't remember him, so I'm just gonna go meh, and then Muffy, here she is, the most pretentious, most bromatrocious person ever, uh, but sometimes she did help Francine in her times of need from being broke, um, uh, but still, Muffy's the most annoying, most, you know, Muffy's that popular girl in school, uh, from the Mean Girls, remember Mean Girls, and then they, they do a dance, and then, like, December 3rd, yeah, I don't know, whatever all that is, um, uh, okay, um, she's just barely bearable. Uh, all right. So next we got the main man himself, Arthur. Without Arthur, we uh we wouldn't have this show. Um, Arthur did almost try to hit W one, so that's not that's not very cool of you, Arthur. That's gonna have to knock you down a tier. Um, and then one time you did rage and went super sane on the library, so that's gonna make it pretty cool. So Arthur, Arthur, I'll I'll let you stay an OG. He's an OG. Um, this guy, he's literally a clown. So he goes right in the muffy category. Um, all right. Next we got. The Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys gave us the greatest crossover in crossover history. The most ambitious crossover ever. Uh, we saw them, and then we saw the pretty boys and the Barbie girls come through. Um, these guys, they're very lovely. You know, they're very wholesome. Um, and then this one, Francine Frensky. Um, I feel like I'm gonna go to Gorilla Warfare every time with her. I feel like she at home. She lives with roaches. Um, and then uh, I would compare her to Cardi B. When uh, you see Francine on the bus in the morning to go to school, she's the she's the girl on the back eating hot Cheetos with uh, melted cheese with a fork going, ah, 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 ah. yeah, that's her. She belongs in the muffin category. Uh, these fools over here are called the Biddle Twins. They're from the newer seasons. Um, yeah, all I know about them is that they're vegetarians, so they instantly go in the muffin category. Uh, over here is uh, Buster's mom. Um, only real ones will know that she a thought. Uh, all Buster wanted to do was give her a nice date with Peter, Paul, and Mary, and she had to make it all about her. Uh, and then she kept bringing more guys home, and then poor old Buster didn't know who his dad was. Yeah, she's gonna, she's barely bearable. Uh, this is uh, Buster's real dad. Um, all we know about this man is that one day he went out to buy a pack of cigarettes and never returned. Uh, since you don't know much about him, uh, I'm gonna give him a meh. And then, uh, <laughs> I don't even know who this dweeb is. Let's just throw him in meh. But he looks like a cool kid with a little helmet on, you know, he's cool. But maybe he can uh, mow my lawn. Um, this guy is, uh, looks like, I never, I don't remember this guy, but he looks like, uh, Buster's long-lost older crackhead brother. Uh, maybe he's the reason that, uh, 
uh, Buster's uh, dad left. So we're going to uh, barely bearable because he has some uh, buck teeth and he has a, uh, like, mohawk hair. Uh, this one, only re real OGs will remember her. Uh, she actually never showed up in Arthur. Uh, this is Buster's grandma. She only showed up in uh, in Buster's spinoff show. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Postcard from Buster, that one. Uh, she's cool. She's lovely. All the grandmas automatically go to lovely. Um, and then this is Cora. I forgot who she was, so I had to Google her name. Um, if y'all don't remember her, she's the one from that episode where Arthur's family member got married, and then she was throwing mad shit at DW because DW got to carry the ring and she didn't. Uh, yeah, she sucks. She's barely bearable. Uh, right here, we got the main man himself. Uh, the, arguably the guy who carried the show. Uh, Arthur couldn't keep his cool, but Buster, you know, he laid the law down, looking at him, look like, how oh, cool you know, the cool guy. He's, uh, Buster's an OG for sure. OG for life. Uh, all right, and then uh, we got the dark bunny. Uh, the dark bunny is not the hero Elwood City needs, but the hero they deserve. Dark bunny is OG. Uh, and then we got Arthur's dad. Arthur's dad is wanted to make food in his garage, but he had to teach to how to read, and he failed at that. And since he sucks so much at teaching his kids how to read, uh, but he's still a cool guy. You know, he's a cool chap. He's a, he's a chill, chill father. Uh, I'm gonna give him a lovely category. Uh, and then we got a uh, Doba Winifred Reefin, dude. Who hired this girl? I can't even. Yeah, she's so dumb. She cried because a frog made it to the other end of the log, and and the two sentence storybook made her cry. Uh, she can't even write her name down. She's definitely so stupid. But but sometimes uh, uh she came through with for us. Okay. Uh, we had a good laugh with her sometimes because she how dumb she was. I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a lovely. Uh, this kid, if I ever saw him on the street, I'll punch him in the face. Uh, he's he's going to Muffy. And then we got the bionic bunny. He just overpowered. Um, but because since he's got a, such a nice strong jawline, uh, I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him OG because he's a superhero. You know, Avengers Infinity War could have used him when when Thanos snapped his fingers, but uh, he didn't come through. Actually, yeah, he didn't come through for Avengers. So yeah, he's gonna lovely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bring him down to you. Uh, alright, so over here we got Muffy's dad, uh, this dude built an empire, he started off broke, but then he built his own car dealership business, and, uh, this dude, he, he makes a mean casserole, and, uh, he, he's actually got a cool car with the strong shock absorbers, but he did raise a baddie daughter, uh, so this dude, I'm gonna have to throw him in the, the lovely. And then, uh, um, I was using a free screen recorder and the timer ran out, so I had to uh, cut the video off and open it up again. Uh, you know, you really try to pay for nothing, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, this chick, uh, I don't remember her. Uh, if I barely remember her, she wasn't barely bearable. This is, uh, she, she stinks. Um, she also looks like she never showers, so screw her. Um, Alright, we got Fern. Um, Fern was a total theater kid. If I saw Fern in high school, I would totally punch her in the face. She's going to the Muffy category. Uh, Mr. Rogers, automatic OG, because, you know, he's, he's a coolest of them all. Uh, George, this dude was the most bipolar kid ever. He was hyped for one day when he was uh, under the name of Hammer, but then he became a loser again. George, he, he, he's, he's lovely. He, you know, he didn't hurt nobody. Uh, Mr. Haney, uh, all the, that's all the cool kids say. Uh, no cap, the chillest teacher ever. Or actually, he was a principal. Uh, but he wasn't as cool as the principal for my Carly. So because of that reason, uh, I'm going to throw him in a, in a lovely category. Uh, over here, we got Kate. Uh, her first words are Blue Jaguar. Um, those are probably the coolest first words ever. She's going to go in the OG category. Uh, I don't know who this is, so we'll throw in a Muffy. Uh, this guy, uh, this is uh, Lance Armstrong. Uh, what we know about this guy is uh, he's actually a made-up character that Arthur made off of the the uh, very real Vance Legstrong. Um, this guy, since he's a copycat, we'll give him a meh. Um, Mrs. McGrady, you know, this is the most coolest uh, lunch lady. If she was lunch lady in my school, uh, I know for a fact she would say, here you go, Shirley. So because of that, uh, she's an OG, yeah, OG lady. Mary Mook, how, um, uh, secretly a pedophile, uh, she's barely bearable. Uh, this is Muffy's mom. Um, Muffy's mom birthed as Muffy, so she goes in the Muffy category. This is Molly. Uh, Molly is one of the worst bullies ever. She's low-key a nerd, and she got exposed. Uh, and then they had to cancel Molly. Uh, Molly, but she's kind of cool. Uh, you know, she got the bangs with the boots with the fur, I think. Uh, we're gonna mess. Uh, over here, we got Arthur's mom. The least problematic character on the show. Arthur's mom, she's an OG. OG, for sure. Um, Binky's mom and dad. Uh, these guys suck at raising a kid who needs to pick if he's a good character or a bad character. Uh, they raised a very, very, uh, troublesome teenager, and they gave this man a nightlight. How dare they? They both go in barely bearable. I don't like either of them. 
uh, right here is uh, Mr. Toad. Um, if you all remember, this guy ran a whole underground stock exchange. Um, this guy is an OG for sure. And then right here we got Mucky's dad. Or not Mucky, Francine's dad. Uh, this dude, a uh, humble guy. Um, he he was a very hardworking garbage man. Uh, he had to uh, discipline his daughter sometimes. Uh, but uh, she she was very despicable and she was doing the family rep. Uh, but Mucky's dad, you know, he, he's a lovely guy. He's cool. He's cool. Or not Mucky. I keep fancy. I keep confusing the two. Um, this is Pal. Pal's the dumbest dog in the world. He's so stupid. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually, if you don't remember him uh, from his little stint in Arthur's Missing Pal, this dude drank toilet water. I I know some people that drink toilet water too. Um, Pal, uh, we'll give him an OG. He's an OG dog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy Matt Damon. Um, he, you know he was washed up, losing his fame, so he had to come on a children's show to get his fame back. This guy's barely bearable. Screw this guy. Uh, so on another theater kid will throw on the monkey category. Uh, the tough customers. If y'all don't know about the tough customers, y'all gotta follow the the Steel Lota at Twitter.com. Um, these guys are probably the dumbest, weakest uh, bully group ever. Uh, because of that, they're gonna go barely bearable. Uh, actually, no, no, tough customers are cool. We're gonna throw emoji. Yeah. All right, the Tibble Twins. These guys were only like five years old, and they stole the whole business off of Arthur and Buster. Or I may have made that up. I don't remember. But these guys, uh, they're very troublesome. So I'm gonna go put them barely bearable. Um, this lady, uh, apparently her name was Tingly. She's uh, Mr. Haney's principal assistant. I don't remember her, so we're gonna go her Matt. And then Binky, the the worst bully in the world. He had a nightlight. He was easily scared, and I'm pretty sure he almost got beat up by DW one episode. And I think that's why Arthur had to punch DW. Um, but whatever the case is. Uh, Binky has a nightlight, so that would make him an OG. He would go in just lovely, just lovely. There you go. The main man, Van Fleck Strong, he has very strong legs. He's an OG. Uh, this guy is cooler than George. That's all I know. So we'll get, we'll put him next to George and lovely. Yeah, he's lovely with George. Um, I don't know who this dweeb is. Um, he looks like one of my high school teachers who uh, assigned homework during homeroom class. Uh, because of that reason, I'm throwing a monkey. And then uh, Yo-Yo Ma is in the house. Uh, another wash-up celebrity that had to show up on the children's show. Actually, he might have been dead. I don't remember. Um, we'll give him a lovely just for that. All right, cool. All right, y'all. Uh, here's my one subscriber special. Uh, if you agree, if you disagree, I don't care. Uh, you can fight with me in the comments. All, all two of you that watch it. All right, cool.